Did I leave anything behind? Yeah, I don't think I did. I think I looted most of this when we were last here. A couple of bandages. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we're going to want to take. I'm just doing some more loot runs real quick because... I've got a few plans in the works. And it's going to take a little bit more in the way of resources than what I have. Stuff like this is what I'm looking for. Okay, right, let me pick you up. Bring you back this way. Yeah, so basically, we're just on a little bit of a loot run right now. But, <laughs> it's been a minute since I spoke to you guys. So, welcome back to Mist. I know it's been a long time, guys. It is for very good reason. I'm not going to go into it now. You guys will be able to check it out in the comments. But we're back. That's the most important thing. Pretty sure that I got... Yeah, I did. I got everything out of this one, too. Let's get that down here as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to transport that back with this vehicle. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, let's just keep it moving this way then. There are a few buildings down here that I didn't loot, so now's as good a time as any to take a look at them, right? May as well. Got a little bit of daylight. We're doing some loot runs. I really do want to check out certain areas as well. I want to see if the patrols are still in the same place. See if anything's changed with these guys. Right, let's not make too much noise. Hold up there. Let's actually make sure everything's reloaded as well. Six shots in the revolver. Slot number two, we got the shotgun. Plenty of shots in that. M4. Let's reload her up. 37. I definitely need to get some more ammunition. That's a priority right now. And I've got plenty of arrows to go around as well. All right, let's keep the revolver out then. So I know this building is a little bit of a hot spot for the infected. I could break this car down too. Huh. That's the first time I've come to this area and I've not heard any infected in this particular building. Doesn't mean they're not in there though. Can't see inside the windows. I'm being a little bit cautious here because if you remember, one of the first times we came around this spot, there were bandits over there. In fact, they actually walked up towards where the vehicle was because I was making a little bit of noise. So we can check out that building too. Last time we went over there, it looked a little bit too hot to get close to, but I think it's worth the risk. Come on, give me something. I'm trying to collect as many of the vests and stuff that I have. Because I've realized when we run into those mutations, we go through them really fast. So they don't last as long as I would hope they would. But if we can find them and just keep hold of them, maybe in the lockers, which I am trying to do back at base. I'm making like a, a little armory for stuff. But like I say, I've got my idea on a few other things. So let's try and collect what we can. I'm going to clear this building first before I head down there. Moment of truth. Seems extremely quiet. This building is normally crawling with them. They hide down in the basement. I don't think there's anything we can take either. I mean, some rags. I mean, we may as well take that. Some food. Absolutely going to hang on to that. Some matches. Why not? Some salt to preserve food with. Some more food there. Some more salt. And I'm going to leave the sugar. Wouldn't mind taking that as well. It'd be pretty nice to be able to take that back to the base. Nothing much else that I really want or can use. Sticks. Been through all of this. Pretty sure nobody's been through it. Yep, there's no more extra food. I am trying to stockpile food as well. I noticed that I've been burning through it a lot. And even though I've been trying to salt a lot of the meat that I'm getting from the bears and the wildlife. I do want to keep all of the tin stuff or the canned. Super important. What did I just hear? Maybe they just didn't choose to use this house to get away from the sunlight. That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. When you think you know where the infected go <laughs> and then everything's flipped on its head and it's not the same. Oh, I wouldn't mind taking these. This place has been ransacked, was it? How long ago did we come here? I wouldn't mind taking those, though. i got to remember that. I definitely need more lockers. don't want to be building them myself, either, unless I really, really have to. Anything inside of this? Yeah, I can't remember like, when the last time we came here was. I can't imagine it was too, too long ago. 
boxes. Yeah, it's completely empty. I'm going to take this as well. Let's actually bring that up to the front. And I'm pretty confident that there is nothing in here now. I'm, I've searched high and low. Even gave it a second while I was up top too. But like I was saying, that is kind of terrifying. That you don't really know where they are. Because I was dead set that they would be inside of this house. Every single time I've been back. Let me just check this cupboard. Every single time I've been back, there's been something inside. This time, no. Completely different story. We got some salt. Yeah, no, I don't want to take anything in there. Yeah, that's definitely the place. We didn't check that out last time. Which is really weird, too, because I'm not seeing any activity over there now. And you guys will remember that when we brought the truck down into this area, they were definitely, like, here somewhere. Which is what you would expect if there is a bandit hideout. They patrol the entrances, just making sure, you know, all exits are covered. But there's not a bit of movement. And I know I've been back this way as well. There's some houses. There's like a church or something back there. That's the burnt out military truck. That I took a look in. But look, there's nobody there. I don't really have... Or I don't have the hunting rifle on me either to be able to see. Let's get a little bit closer though. If they've got some good stuff, I could really use it. This is freaky as hell too. Look at this. Children's play area. There's a tower there as well. Let's just stop here, see if we can hear anything. I'm actually going to switch the M4 too. Oh. I don't hear anything. That's so creepy to me, the fact that there's nobody here now. I mean, they could have got taken out. It's been a while since I've been back here. There's nothing. Now, to me... Don't know what it looks like to you guys, but to me, this looks like they've gone. This is so weird. I just don't want one of them to pop out. Take the bandage and the booze. See what this has got. Nothing. I'm not going to take anything unnecessary either. Some gloves. We may as well hold on to it. Kind of keeping eyes in the back of my head for two reasons now. I don't know if there's any infected inside of here. There could just be one or two bandits. Just holding it out. Chances... that noise it's like a it's almost like somebody going tss, tss, like a whisper <laughs> this is so weird nothing choose the crowbar there's still supplies in here though i'm willing to bet they got overrun. That doesn't explain why there's nothing inside. Like, if they did, you would expect to see infected, right? And there's nothing. I mean, I'm not complaining. A little bit more ammunition, some extra food. We'll take it. We can make use of that stuff. That really is weird. There's no fuel in the generator either. I mean, on the one hand, it's good that they're not here, so I don't have to worry about them if I ever need to come back and do some loot runs. But 
there's just no sign of them. There's no blood. There's no evidence of a firefight. It's nothing. They've just, they're just up and left. Maybe they moved to the new spot that we found. Because there's been a lot of activity over there. That would kind of make sense if they pulled people back from this area knowing that we're around here and they've been losing men. Let's see if there's anything in these trucks. Nothing. Some pipes. These are all broken down too. Can't do anything with them. And this one. Yeah, nothing. Wouldn't mind being able to take these back. These would be nice. Or being able to make some of these for ourselves. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I mean, it is a good thing. Ultimately, they're not here. So it's a little bit more free reign to be able to play around this area and grab some stuff, take our time. Still got to keep eyes in the back of your head, though. You can never really ever let your guard down here. Especially with this type of scenario. But that does tell me then, if they're not here, they're most probably either at the end of the tunnel, in that new camp that we discovered, or they died to the infected. I mean, like I say, I'm not complaining. It's a win-win. They're not here. It gives me more of a chance to loot. Right, let's jump into the car, head back, and we'll see what we got. May as well just park it here, right? It should be fine. We actually got a pretty decent haul with that. I mean, everything that we have here is stuff pretty much that we didn't have before. I mean, bar a couple of items like the bottles, a little bit of ammunition, and a couple of medical supplies. The rest of it, we didn't have any of it. I mean, there's a lot of food there too. What's going on, Kate? Right, so I do want to get that car fixed up to see how we're fixed for parts for vehicles. I know I've got a lot of engines and stuff. I think what I'm going to do though, let me just get rid of all of these items and then I'm going to come back outside and get that fixed while we got a little bit more daylight. And then I think we might head back out because I've been putting something off for the longest time and I do finally want to get this thing finished, which is the chickens, because I want the chickens done and I do want an area for crops too. I want this area basically finished because there's another spot that I kind of want to reinforce. So we've got two areas. One is the main spot, which is probably going to be this one. I don't think I'm ever going to give this place up unless we have to. But that's the idea of having a second space. So we're not just out in the wide open of the wilds. We're able to double back to a spot that we know is secure or somewhat secure. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's close this up. All right, let's throw you in there. Some extra components. What does that leave us with? Some extra ammunition, some extra tools. We got the food as well. I'm going to try and keep hold of the two MREs as well, just in case I'm out a little bit longer than usual, which I have been doing. But I guess this is a good a time as any to show you guys what my plan is, at least for this spot. It's nothing major, but it's a little bit tidier. I've made this room a makeshift armory for the time being. That's why you see me before kind of eyeballing these boxes. I'm definitely going to go and get those and the lockers too. But I think I'm going to fill this room out with more of these because I have or we've got a lot of weapons and extra stuff that we can use as weapons and I just don't want them in here in case there are any bandits still around this area you just never know or just for the simple fact that it's tidier right you want everything to have a purpose and these guys are not really using these rooms to sleep in they're just finding anywhere what can make do and then they're going back out on patrols so I may as well make use of them like this room too it's nowhere near as tidy as I want it to be like I say I want everything to have a purpose but I mean it'll do for now right so which is the best engine then 44.7 Let's hold on to that. We'll take one of those wheels as well. What's the best battery? 100%. Might actually switch that for one of the ones we're using. Let's, let's just grab two of them. And the best spark plugs. We'll grab two of those. I think that's all we need apart from the wheels. Is it this one? I left them in. Yeah, there we go. There's three more. And they're all 100%. And I've got no fuel in the jerry cans, which isn't a big deal. I've got like 22 liters in this beast, so... Yeah, we should be good to go. I've got some extra bits as well that I do keep in each of the vehicles. Right, let's fix this up then. And then we got three. I wouldn't mind getting another one of these. I know that's a luxury at this point, but if we get, can get like a little bit of a convoy going, then that's not a bad thing. Engine. It's going to take 20 minutes. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to eat into the night time now. What else? I saw the battery in there. Let's throw you in there. 10 minutes apiece. So one more wheel and then the spark plug. Yeah, I'm going to leave the fuel out of this one for now. Again, I can always siphon fuel out of the other truck. So it's really not a big deal. And 41%. 
Looking good. It's going to take two minutes. Yeah, we're golden. Right, so that's another truck fixed up. What is the fuel in this one? 9.25 liters. Oh, I did not know they were that low. Shit. I mean, I've got stuff that I can switch out. Let's do that now. I'm not, I'm not messing around with it. This is my workhorse. And the last thing that I need is stuff on this braking while I'm out. So let's take this off. And replace it with this battery, which is 100. That should last for a while. I don't know how I haven't noticed that. Because I do keep an eye on the fuel and I, I top it up whenever I can. Spark plug. Don't know if that's the best one, but it's definitely better than this. And let's see what we've got in terms of another engine. I might need to set the spot up for the vehicles then. I didn't realize I was running them that hard. Right, 24, 28, we'll take that. Keep in hold of it just in case. As a last resort, we can keep all of it as a backup. Let's keep all of this. And 34% battery. That should be everything we need. Let's grab a little bit of something to drink too. I mean, you can see what I've been doing. I'm just doing the basics. Just trying to keep everything ticking over. And little things like this, you would definitely have to keep an eye on. I mean, especially if you are taking journeys, going out for loot runs and stuff. You want to maintain these as much as possible. And there's a new engine. Right. She's purring a little bit better than she was. So a couple of the tires are actually wearing down as well. Yeah, we're going to have to make something for the vehicles. Maybe this. Really wanted to use this for the chickens though. No, I think I'm going to stick to that. Because I want to keep them covered up. Maybe just something outside then. Maybe make an extension or something like that. Let's see how this one's doing. I really hope that this isn't low. We've got the stuff to use it, but... 29, 38... 34. Yeah, she's okay. This isn't looking too good, but I mean, aside from that, considering how much I've used it, they're looking all right. Definitely need to get that done, though. We need an area where we can make sure the vehicles are well maintained. All right, time to get some sleep. I'll be back with you guys at first light. <laughs> Worth a try. You know what? I'm probably going to do the second location. But keep it as low-key as possible. So it doesn't attract any eyes. Something's telling me to build this area up more. We've gone through all of the effort of fighting the bandits off. They clearly know we're here. And look how much resource we've got. I could easily build up some more homes, fortify this area off, maybe even fortify that military spot so nobody else can get in. And then who knows, if there are any more survivors, we can give them a little bit of a safe place to be. I don't know how many scrapes and bruises that we've had with the close calls, and this is the one time when I actually have quite a significant injury, chasing a damn chicken. Right, how do we treat this then? Treatment... What do you want to do? Recover time using the pills. Recover time using booze. Let's go ahead and use that. We've only sprained it. So, I mean, I guess it could be worse. It's going to take quite a while to heal though, isn't it? Does that mean I can't actually run on it? I can't run on it. God damn you, chicken. I guess I'm going to have to try and back this thing up into a corner. If you're wondering what I did, the terrain just kind of goes down there like that. I just rolled my ankle. This son of a bitch. She's not going to be able to be caught now, is it? So I'm going to be left with one chicken back at the base. I'm going to try and wrangle him into a corner though, so I can kind of just pick him up from there. That's typical though. We survive everything that's been thrown at us, and we roll our ankle chasing a chicken. Oh my god, this thing is scaling the side of this like it's a goat. Oh my god, look at it go. Stay there, stay there. There you go, you're stuck, you can't get up. Nope. Come on, chicken. Stay there. Stay there. There we go. Nice. Now, when I say this, I really mean it. Fuck you, chicken. All right, so those pills work to treat. Not feeling the pain anymore. And I do need to top up the chicken's water. And I think this one has 15 liters. Yeah, there we go. So I can just make sure that they've got plenty of stuff to drink. Pay no attention to this. It's, uh... <laughs> A little bit of food for us all tonight to celebrate. Day 80 after all. We gotta celebrate somehow. Let's close them in. Right, let's see if we can 
Give you guys a little bit more water. Okay, it takes 30 liters. I may as well just top this up completely now because... Are they going through it? 17.5. Don't know if that means you're... I love the fact that they do that. Are they going to stalls? Okay, it looks like you guys are getting hungry too. I'm going to have to work on getting you some food. 17.5. I guess I'm just going to leave it then and we'll monitor it, see how quickly it goes down. Right, what do we do for chicken's feed? So I kind of want to put the crops over here. Let's see if we can map out a little bit of an area so I can throw some of this stuff down. I don't want it too close to this, so let's put it like there. And then I'm just going to keep building off of that. So probably about this area. I want a substantial amount of crops. Because it's not just our mouths that we're feeding now. We've got to look out for the chickens too. So maybe three, four rows of this stuff. All right, what time is it? So we're looking at 5.30 now. We've been doing this most of the day. I've just been trying to plan everything out. But you can see what we're dealing with. We got three crop furrows where we're going to get our food from. And this really isn't a problem. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to fence this in as well. Just in case any of the infected get inside of the walls. But the issue is going to be the water. Because these are not going to cut it. And I'm using these two barrels for everything else around the base. So I'm probably going to have to make some more of these. Specifically just for the crops. But like I've mentioned before. Ideally what would really be the best case scenario. Is using that. Attaching something to it. Or maybe just taking the top off it. Or cutting a hole in it at least. So we can harness the rain. And then make some kind of irrigation coming down to this. Because using this all the time, like with the actual cans, it's a pain in the ass doing it. It really is. And it takes such a long time. It takes hours out of your day. But yeah, I mean, that's what we're dealing with right now. we got to do what we got to do. It's a survival situation after all. We can't really have everything we want. So let's finish these last two up. Don't quite know how many seeds we actually have either. But I guess we'll see. All right, so they're all done now. What time does that take us to? Almost seven. Let's move this just for now so we can see what we're doing place you there and there we go a little bit of light let's throw this back in there take all of that i mean i'm gonna run out of the water as well that's another thing i'm constantly gonna be having to fill these things up just make one more pass across with this just enough so got a little bit of water in them i think back over there when i had two of them in front of the house you guys saw how much food we got from that how much it yielded from just two of the four rows. We've got three now, and I may even add a fourth. But obviously, the more that I add, the more I have to think about the water. So, I mean, it's all for everything now. It's all food for us, and we've got to look out for the chickens as well. There we go. So, everything's watered. Everything's planted. So, in the next couple of days, we should see things growing. But let's take a look at what else we're going to need in order to feed these chickens. So, there we go. we got three corn and ten leaves. We also need something to break it all down as well. It's actually a good job then that we made as much as we did. You okay, Scott? Just hanging out. But yeah, we're, we're going to get quite a lot of corn from this. It's probably a good idea then to maybe make another two more. If that's how much it takes. Let me just see how they are on water right now. I know this is kind of extreme for just a couple of chickens. But I'm not just going to have two of them. I'm going to keep looking for more. Hopefully, we've got a lot of them. Like I say, it's not a pet. It's more of a food source at this point. And why are they not drinking? Does that mean they're okay? I think they're just asleep right now. But I would really like to see them. It's because they've got no water left. God damn, those things are thirsty. There you go. Now you've got 30 liters of water. Now that I think about it as well, though. If these guys are too high maintenance, I mean, there's just two of them and they completely went through 15 liters of water. I mean, it might not be worth doing, but hey, like I keep saying, it's extra food and we can see where we're at. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world that we're making some crops or planting crops because I mean, it's extra food for us. And if we do go with the plan of building this area up as like a safe haven, like maybe adding some more of these things, let me show you guys. Some small cabins, hunting cabins, and different variations of them like this with walls surrounding the area. And basically choking off that military spot so we can use that too. Maybe teaching people how to survive, how to shoot. And we'll have plenty of food to go around if we keep doing what we're doing. So, alright, let's grab a little bit of a bite to eat. Then what time are we on? 8.30 at night. Right, I'm going to eat the last kind of beef that we have. 
should probably chop that chicken up as well before it goes off. And then we're going to grab a little bit of water. Just top everything up. And see, we're tired. He's taking it out of us, making these props and planning for everything else that we got. But actually really happy with what we got done today. We managed to get a loot run in. We fixed up another vehicle in case we need a convoy for anything to move to another spot. We're kind of taking care of the chickens a little bit. Let me see if they've actually drank anything. Yeah, no, they haven't taken anything. They must be asleep. Maybe get a little bit of light in here too so they can see what's going on. And we're focusing on getting the new area for the crops done. And not to mention, if we do build this area up, we're going to need a name for it. A survivor camp name. So, I don't know. We're going to have to come up with something. But guys, for now, as always, I think this is where we're going to end. If you are enjoying Mist and you want to see more of them, you know what to do. Drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.